So I came across a bunch of posters rocking this style of text, and it really caught my eye. I thought, hey, why not give it a shot, but with my own little spin on it. I'm fuzzy, and in this video, I'll take you through the entire design journey from the first idea to the final touch. Let's jump right in. The first thing I'll do is create a new document with a size of 1000 by 1000 pixels and a resolution of 300 dpi. After that, I'll add the image to the new canvas. Next, I'll add a second image. Now, adjust the position and size of the image as needed. To separate the chair from the second image, I'm going to add a blur. Go to Filter, then Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Set the radius to 1, then click OK. For the font, I'll be using the Dirty Sick font. Using the shape tool, I'm going to create a circular shape around the object. Make sure to set both the fill and stroke to transparent. Then, set the color using one from the image to match the style. Adjust the position and size of the shape as needed. To wrap the text around the circle, simply use the text tool and click on the edge of the circle shape. Set the font size slightly smaller. Now, duplicate the text layer by selecting it and pressing CTRL plus J, then resize the second circle to make it larger. Increase the font size of the second text as well. Next, duplicate the text again to create a third one. Resize it and set the font size to an even larger size. Rename each text layer to make them easier to identify. Drama. 
Now I'll add a shadow to each text layer. Double click on a text layer to open the layer style panel, then add a drop shadow using the settings I'm using. Click OK and repeat this for the second and third text layers. I think the third text layer needs to be even bigger, so I'll change the font size to 40. For the fourth text, I'm going to add a basic text element behind the object so it appears behind the mask. Make sure to place all the text layers below the image layer. I'll use the same font and set the size to 18pt. Then. Change the text color to white. Now, add a new layer below the object layer. Using the brush tool, add a shadow around the text. Make sure to adjust the brush hardness to make it softer. Add another new layer and with the brush tool, paint a black area behind the text to make it stand out more. Be sure to keep the black brush layer below the text layer. To make the design pop, I'm going to use a grunge texture that you can get from my Gumroad for only $3.99. You'll also find wall textures, paper textures, grunge texture, icon packs, and much more. I also have some free graphic design assets available. Use the link in the description to grab the best design assets for your projects. After adding the grunge texture and adjust the position and size, set the blending mode to screen and lower the opacity. For the first texture, set the opacity to around 55%, and for the second one, set it to around 23%. And that's it for today's tutorial. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. Thanks so much for being patient and still sticking around. I'm excited to be back and I've got more tutorials coming your way. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. You can grab all the design assets I used in the description below, including some free ones. Thanks for watching and see you soon.